Uh, what do we see here? Or what do we see? It was uh, about news. We talk about news and the different tenses, no? Present perfect versus simple past. Basically, the person perfect is used to describe activities that were recently without telling at a specific time. And the uh, present perfect also is used to express experiences. The simple past is a tense that describes activities that occur in specific events. Of course, in the past, not over, finished. And on the other hand, we have the present perfect continuous, that the continuous uh, is for something temporal or something that's still ongoing. So it hasn't finished yet. On the other hand, the present perfect, it does. All right, then later we look and check the news vocabulary, the vocabulary in the news. Uh, don't forget the grammar pluses and the vocabulary pluses that are in your folders. Later, uh, we have the narrative that we used to give like a sequence and describe a sequence. Actually, the simple past one of the characteristics is to describe a sequence. And later on the next part, we look to adverbs that are followed by uh, simple past or past perfect. The simple past, well, we have already mentioned that you specify something and the uh, past perfect is to describe an activity that occurred before an event. So it's the past of the past. And we have the following uh, adverbs, no? So the first way is an adverb. It's a word that modifies uh, the verb, additive, or even other adverbs too. So here we have examples right there. And well, later, uh, well, after that, we're gonna continue with the vocabulary of the section and we're gonna uh, mark them. But before we're gonna practice some uh, listening skills, I want you to check out uh, the next questions. Why did Dan lose his job in the department store as a painter, job taxi driver? And why, uh, how serious do you think Dan took these jobs, okay? So pay close attention and we're gonna listen to the track now. So if there is like an equal, please let me know. So if there is like an equal, okay? Unit six, lesson B, page 50. Exercise four, embarrassing moments, part A. Listen to an interview with actor Dan Carville. What jobs does he talk about? Welcome back, everyone. We're talking to Hollywood star Dan Carville. Before the break, we were talking about your life, Dan, before you became a big star. I mean, you didn't just become a big star overnight. You struggled for many years. You can say that again. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I think I must have worked 20 or 30 different jobs. Really? That's a lot. Well, in the beginning, I couldn't find steady work as an actor, so I had to do something to put food on the table. You have to eat, right? That's true. So, what kinds of jobs did you have? A little bit of everything, I guess. I worked in a department store, as a taxi driver, and as a house painter, to name a few. I wasn't good at any of them. I think I ended up getting fired from most of those jobs. Oh, yeah? Come on, tell us a few stories. Well, uh, this is so embarrassing, but okay. So, one time I was working as a salesperson for a big department store in Chicago, in the luggage department. It was so boring. I mean, we didn't have many customers during the day, and that's when I worked. Sometimes, when I got sleepy, I used to lie down behind the luggage racks and take a nap. Really? So what happened? Well, one day I got caught by my boss and he fired me on the spot. It was terrible. Then there was the time I decided to get a job painting houses. You know, you have to climb these high ladders to do the job, right? Well, it turned out that I was afraid of heights. The first time I climbed up a ladder, I got dizzy and fell and broke my wrist. No. Yes. But the worst thing was that when I fell, I knocked a can of paint over and paint poured down all over my coworkers. So, naturally, I got fired again. Again? Really? So, do you have any other stories? Well, you're not going to believe this, but I got hired as a cab driver. I drove a taxi, but that only lasted a few days. Did you get fired? 
How did you guess? On my third day, I had an accident. Luckily, no one was hurt. My passenger was fine, and so was I. But my boss didn't think he was so lucky, and that was the end of my days as a driver. It seems you're a little accident prone. It's a good thing you made it as an actor. Yes, I guess you could say that. Thanks for sharing your stories with us, Dan. Coming up after the break, we'll talk with Dan about his latest movie, scheduled for release in September. Teacher, no se escucha. Está muteado, teacher. Wait, do you, do you listen now to me? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, right, right. So I was saying that it already says the answers of the first exercise. No, so it's the sales in the department store then he says a painter finally a taxi driver but uh, do you remember for what reason he was a uh, fire from the first job do you remember the department store he was caught the sleeping in the yes. in the store yes the second one is why didn't dan long as a painter Why did Dan didn't last as a painter? Did you put in the shot? Because I didn't see. Am I he, mute? He fell, but I, I remember why. Actually, he fell uh, uh, fear of heights. No, he was afraid of heights. He climbed on the ladder and got dizzy. And why was then fired from his job as taxi driver or cab driver? And because. He was in an accident. Yes, he had an accident. And how seriously do you think Dan took these jobs? Is he serious? Not right? No. No. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, well, then, uh, the, the, then we have the next part. It says these phrases are used to tell a story, put them in the correct columns. So we have here beginning a story, continuing a story, going back in the story, ending a story. Yes. So these are the, um, we need to collocate them right here. Uh, beginning a story, continuing a story. So we're gonna show them up here, and here we go. Um, first one, beginning story. Have I'll never forget the time it all started when. That reminds me of when I got to tell you about continuing story. What happened was. Meanwhile, the next thing we knew. So later on, going back in story, the thing you have to know is I forgot to mention that the other thing is ending a story to make a long story short, so finally. These are like the activities that we, oops, 
<laughs> that uh, I need, uh, we need, what am I saying? Me perdí. Sorry. Uh, so this is part of the vocabulary plus. This is part of the vocabulary plus. Don't forget to do the vocabulary in the grammar plus. So we used to make the ideas clear. Okay, this vocabulary plus. All right, then uh, and we're gonna go back. Today we're just gonna introduce, well, finish the unit six, and uh, we'll just introduce the unit seven. Well, there's a reading here. It happened to me. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna read it for you. Or if someone wants to help me reading it, a volunteer. Okay. Uh, baby Sears Blues? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll never forget the time last winter when I was babysitting these two kids to the first night. It was about 7.30 at night. Their mom had asked me to make them pizza for dinner. It had been in the oven for 15 minutes when suddenly I heard a noise outside. Uh, I heard a noise outside and the dog started barking. As soon as I opened the door to step outside, the kid slammed and locked it behind me. It was winter and I stood outside freezing while they rolled around on the floor laughing hysterically. Meanwhile, the kitchen started getting smoky and the smoke detector started buzzing. They didn't know what I they didn't know what to do, so they let me back in. The pizza was burned to a crisp. I didn't say anything. But as we sat around the kitchen table having a bowl of cold cereal instead of their favorite pizza. I could tell they regretted what they done. Anyway, to make a long... Uh, let me get... Uh, regretted what they done. Anyway, to make a long story short, I babysit them all the time now. And guess what? I haven't had any problems since the first night. Amy Fernandez, Boston. Thank you. And then we have a bad holiday, uh, Jesus. Uh, a bad holiday. Have I learned any lessons the hard way? I sure have. What happened was I wanted a Monday off from work. Tuesday was a national holiday and I thought a four day weekend would be just perfect. I asked my boss and he said no. At the company, all employees got the birthday off. So I asked if I could pretend that the Monday was my birthday. He said no. I woke up on the Monday. I woke. Uh, me perdi. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, I woke up in the morning and on the Monday morning, feeling a little bit defined. So I called in sick. I told them that I got terrible sunburn on the weekend. Later on, I realized that I had no color at all because I hadn't been out in the sun. So my friends and I went to the beach and stayed there all day. When I woke up the next morning, I had the worst sunburn of my life. I even had to go to the hospital. In the end, I learned a uh, value lesson. I can get away with anything. Thank you very much. Uh, do you still listen to me? Yes. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, now we will continue. We have here some questions. Why do you think Amy hasn't had any more problems? And what would you have done if you were Rita? And which anecdote did you find more, more amusing and why? Do you have to post the answers or, or yes? No, no, no. It's just like to comment what you believe. Okay. I think Amy has has no more problems because the kids got very scary about what were they doing. So that kind of teach them of not to do it again. Okay. 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 Any other possibly possible answer?
Yeah, I think the same. I think the kids were scared and what could happen. So mm -hmm. no more problems. Okay. And what would you have done if you were Rita? Maybe not stay all day in the beach. Maybe not stay all day in the beach. Okay. Not bad idea. And which anecdote did you find more amusing and why? Did you find did you find these stories amusing? Or not? What does that mean, teacher? Huh? Amusing. What? Yeah. Well, like quite incredible or yeah, it's a, um how can I say funny. Entertaining. Mm, I think if I I was Amy, I don't think the story will be like funny or entertaining. I would be yeah. very mad, you know. Yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, so I said that any of them to me, but anyway. Well, uh, we're going to continue this, the, the next part. It's uh, unit number seven. It's just like the introduction of unit seven. And it's the information age. The information age, we will continue with it next Monday. And it's are the internet trends. Okay, so we're going to talk about the internet trends. I think that we could do something up, have a look and watch. I think that for this unit, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to focus on other things that are uh, these days. And well, this is like the passive of present, continuous, present, perfect, and future. So we're going to see the, the trends and we're going to try to predict what are the trends for future, no? So like, for example, on the news, they said that Facebook is not going to be Facebook anymore because they changed the name of the enterprise no it, it will be the individuals facebook and uh, whatsapp and instagram the same but the company changed the name i read it on the news today on bbc news so on monday we will discuss about this i'm gonna be opening uni sorry quiz six guys i will open it and it will it will last to the next the next monday so it's not for the monday the first it's for the Monday, 8th, okay? 6, you need 6. And what else? Um, I, am I forgetting? And in case that you don't have, uh, uh, that, well, you can, you have, in case you have a day off on Tuesday, uh, we will um, move the due dates instead Monday to Wednesday of the unit 4 and 5. And that's it for now. I hope that you have a wonderful day. You're gonna stop there.